Okay, let's do this. Uh, the plan today is gonna be to improve the AI, and the AI is already in a very good state, but something uh, could be better, and that's the AI trying to save uh, its own life. Um, and for that I need gameplay elements. So what I started to prepare is just uh, for these little fellas, um, some actors, like this one, to cover, to take cover uh, in, different, in different positions depending on the combat situation. So every actor, like these guys, oh, I'm stupid, here, like these guys, every single one of these 
guys here uh, has these little arrows that are anchor points to position the AI to take cover under specific circumstances that I will program in a bit. Right now it's just a model with just four arrows. As you can see, the arrows are facing the opposite to the wall, meaning that if I'm here in this position as a player and the AI is here, the AI will cover basically here. And if I'm here and the AI is in this very position, the AI will cover here. And that can be done uh, using the uh, dot product, comparing to vectors. Um, uh, maybe can be done in different ways, but we will go there at some point, not now. The first thing we need to do is to, uh, to let the AI to know if in his area, a specific area, is there any cover actors where he can take a cover? This is now like this, but it could be, you know, whatever, a column, could be a house, could be a tree, could be many things. Right now I'm just testing with this kind of Tetris pieces, but it could be completely other pieces, doesn't matter. So I'm using game ability system from Unreal Engine to do, to do this. Um, and the first thing I'm doing is just doing a very quick and dirt prototype of the idea, which is basically taking all the actors. This is wrong. This will be later uh, doing a sphere trace right now and just getting all the actors of a class, get actor of a class, which is even cheaper because I'm just taking the first actor that finds of the cover actor. The cover actor, remember, is this guy here. This is the cover actor with the four arrows, with the four directions, uh, each direction meaning a different cover. And the first one he finds, what I want to do here is exactly as you can see here. I take the arrays after, and this is because in the begin play, what I do is I take all the arrows, all these four red arrows, and I make an array. And th that, that array is now going to be called a arrows array. So this is already set by the very beginning. And now here, what I do is to take a random arrow. I don't care right now, I just want to check if this works and I'm moving the AI to that position and on success and stability. This is um, from the previous ability, I just copy pasted, I don't need anything of this. So this is just the basic setup, nothing fancy, nothing quite crazy, just very simple. Uh, I get the actor, the cover actor, I take an uh, arrow of the array randomly right now and I go to the location and the AI move to and success and the ability. Now, this ability is uh, game play ability, so it needs tags. And I call these tags AI, uh, ability AI cover, ability AI cover. And it can't be done if the AI is uh, knocked down, which is for this case is okay. I don't need it, but just by default is, is like that. Um, so what I need to do now is to uh, grant those abilities or that ability to be more specific to our enemy of crit. So here we can go to the abilities, uh, it's in the ability system component. And then here we are gonna add a new ability, which is gonna be a uh, cover, correct. So now he has this ability. Now for the sake of testing this, uh, what I'm gonna do is um, I want to, I want to change the behavior tree just to test this. So right now nothing is happening. What I want to do is I'm going to give him a selector. You always need a selector at least. And after this selector, what I want to do is to put a sequence. And this sequence I want to use this. This is basically a, a behavior tree task that fires um, fires an ability. And the ability is gonna be the cover ability. Now, is this gonna work? We'll see, I'm not completely sure. Uh, I think it should work, but you never know with these things. 
So I'm gonna save this, this is granted. Um, this is, okay, this is the pawn. Success and ability, we'll see. So what I want to do is to put this guy here. And now, if I pre play, let's, let's lurk into that guy. Apparently it's working. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, I see what is going on. It's rotating between all the all the arrows, as you can see, but it's working. It's just because if you go to the behavior tree, you will see how it's doing an ability, and then you will see a little flickering. Well, you see that little flickering is because I already arrived to one of the arrows, and now is redoing the loop again and again, that little flickering there. Uh, and that is what is going on here. It's arriving to one of the arrows and then moving to the next one without stopping. So what we are going to do now, now that, now that we know this works, we want to say on success, let's say, for example, wait delay. And let's say, I don't care, uh, just to see if this works. Five seconds. Um... Yeah, let's do that. So if we play now, and we see this guy, he's gonna go to one of the arrows, and he's stopping there, five seconds. Now, he will do that again, he will go to the next arrow, and he will wait five seconds. And that's exactly the arrows we set, as you can see, there. Now, it is true that it's not facing the correct direction, however, because this is going to happen on combat, it really doesn't matter, because the actor actually needs to be aiming his target, which in this case is going to be a player. So, actually this will work already, because if I go here, he's going to get me as an actor, he's going to get me as a... Yeah, I see that. Forget the spheres, forget the debug things in the background. Once he's once he sees me, that he now has this kind of crazy look. Ah, but he's not focusing on me. Yeah, but it's not rotating because uh Yeah, because this. I need to change this because by default uh, rotation needs to be 120 by default so now now this should work now he should rotate towards the place I am but obviously is focus in the and now he will go to another arrow but as you can see because now it's only going to random direction random arrows it doesn't provide any gameplay and it's not covering whatsoever and you can do this with a EQS system but I want to go completely manual on this so what we're gonna do is put the music a little bit lower what I want to do here is this is an interesting part this is when the things get a little bit math-centric. I don't want to take a random arrow. What I really want to do is to... There are different rules that I need to take care. The first thing I need is to get actor uh the get uh get blackboard and then as object get value as object and this is gonna be make literal and this is gonna be target actor target actor like so because this is what these are the the keys I got inside the blackboard of the behavior tree now
I want to see actually get actor now. Okay, let's cast to hero character. Like so. There is a risk here of not ending the ability, but let's connect this here. And if this fails, let's end the ability. Actually, what I should do is put here is valid and if it's valid just cast and if it's not valid just end ability like so routine all right that makes now more sense and then if this is true just cast Uh, I use 2D blend space, but it's a bit procedural. So I have different layers of 2D blend spaces, depending on if there is some um, uh, running in a ramp or it has a top gun or a top uh, sword. There are many, many layers. Not many, there are a fair amount of layers. But there are no 3D blend spaces, if I'm not wrong, in Unreal out the box. There are 1D blend space and 2D, but 3D. This is their 3D blend spaces. And hello, hello, brother. How are you? I never saw 3D blend spaces. I, I heard about that in one of the Inside Unreal's, uh, talking about 3D blend spaces, that a matrix in 3D, that would be really cool, but I never saw it. All right, so this now, it will bring this guy, which we are going to promote as a variable here. And the, inter the interesting part, it happens now. Because now what I need to check is the direction of this guy. So we are going to get the forward vector the get actor forward vector and what we want to do let's promote this to variable uh, let's call this target forward vector And we need some space. And now here we need to compare this forward vector. What is going on? Since when? Okay. Oh, 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 I see, I see. I broke some things. Yeah, because, okay, let's take this. Now, for each of these guys. more space for each of these guys let's let's go a little by little for each of these guys i want to get the forward vector and i want here to compare the dot product with this now Let me think about this. The 
there was a function in Unreal get minimum maximum of array Unreal there was a function to min and max min max what is it? huh, what is it? min of float, oh I see, I see, it's not min max min of nice so this will find the minimum value of an array I think it's the one I need, let me think about it okay, so if the two arrows are facing each other so let's say let's say this frame here is the is the player and the player is just here so the player is facing this arrow this is the forward vector meaning that the AI needs to hide to this arrow to cover in this arrow because it's the opposite meaning that the minimum value is going to be the correct arrow because this is going to be 1 and this is going to be minus 1 this is going to be I think 0 0.5 and this is going to be 0 0.5 if I'm not wrong and this is going to be minus 1 this is completely facing so indeed we are going to add we are going to make uh, promote this to variable and let's make this an array yes, chain variable type and we are going to call this dot product of arrows for example and now let's compile now what we want to do is for every single one of them from every single one of these guys we are gonna add like so we are gonna add this value here to the dot product of arrows now once this is com once this is completed we are gonna get the dot product of the arrows and we are gonna get a copy or a reference doesn't matter to be honest because yeah it's a copy is okay of this item no wait 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 No. What we want to do is actually from here. I don't care the value. I really don't care the value. What I really care is what is the arrow. Um, and let's see get uh, actor look uh, get no get component location get word location or transform but let's just start with this and this happens when it's completed so to recap we're doing a for each loop of every single arrow with the directions and we are adding to this all the arrows, floats, only the floats. There is something here that I don't like.
there is something here that I, I don't feel confident and is the array if, if this array is going to be the same array here the index sorry I can't test I can't test and see I feel it's not correct and let's, let's uh, remove uh, this character because otherwise it's going to get confused uh, so let's put this here and let's play here Okay, that was interesting. That's interesting already. Look at that. It's working. It's covering from... Now it's gonna wait because maybe it's in the wait moment. And there we go. It's gonna hide behind. It's working. Obviously there is a delay there because I put the weight. Yeah, it's working. Problem is if I do this, <laughs> but it's interesting. It's a kind of EQ system somehow, more or less uh, manual EQs. So the first part is done. Now, when, when, oh wow, thank you so much, Henry man, man, I miss you. Blender, Houdini, and Unreal Engine tutorials. I learned a lot. Any chance they will come back in the future? I was considering to do something. Um, problem is the time. And because I'm in this kind of game developer mode in the last few years, uh, I, I need to find... Most likely, if I have to choose a option, it's going to be uh, Houdini. Um, maybe I jump into Houdini at some point, but the problem is tutorials are very demanding with time. Um, so I need to find a way of uh, putting all the things together. Uh, if I do Houdini, it's going to be based on labs, Houdini labs, and that's where I'm going to put some kind of maybe tutorials about uh, using Pivot Painter to do custom vegetation trees and stuff uh, to use procedural modeling so it's gonna be Houdini more thinking about uh, world and universe creation so I was thinking about that I was thinking hey it would be nice to do some videos here and there but I really don't like to do tutorials if I do that it's gonna be more like a behind the scenes uh, with a high level way of how I do the workflows and pipelines I really don't like, like the idea of doing videos of me saying go click here then if you find this window here you will see I, I'm not that kind of person I, I noticed that doesn't make me happy to do that I just prefer to show you hey we did this in Houdini and this is the workflow we decided to go in this direction we decided to do these tools we decided to work in this way with Blender, um, we use Blender right now only uh, for for the rigs, and it is true that I'm starting also to do the rigs on Unreal Engine. Something that uh, one year ago was to me like a no, because it was in a very early stage control rig. Right now I'm noticing the improvements they, they are making, um, um, it's becoming easier to animate in Unreal Engine little by little. It's not replacing Blender or Maya for animation, but it is true that the things are getting better. On the other hand, for animation, we also use uh, KineFX Houdini. So that's another option to do tutorials or at least to do behind the scenes videos about uh, Houdini on um, using KineFX in, in that fashion. And uh, the other thing, uh, and Unreal, Unreal, I'm doing live sessions on Twitch. 
Uh, today I decided just to connect a bit with YouTube so I can find people like you. And thank you so much for the support, man. That's you're a fucking hero. Um, but I'm more in the game development right now stage because at the end of the day, I believe virtual production, once you know things, I don't have anything to tell, um, to teach. So it's more about taste. And if I can teach something, it's going to be not related with Unreal. It's going to be related with filmmaking, composition, storytelling, building universes. And it's not like telling you how Lumen or Nanite works. So there is at some point the content to me is a bit inflated and not quite relevant all these videos about I'm gonna tell you how to light with lumen come on lumen is drag and drop what you need to know is how to light with in real life you know how light works and that's like more like artistic skills more than software skills so that's why for virtual production I don't have anything to tell anything to teach where I can show things I'm not saying like I have something to teach but at least where I can go deep is in game development, which is um, is hardcore. It's like a, you know, it's a fight and it's a constant fight. Um, and sometimes it's math, sometimes it's optimization, sometimes it's um, <coughs> procedural uh, generation, sometimes it's AI. Is and that's to me exciting because there is always something to tell and something to show. So yeah, that's more or less my answer. But. Yeah, I will try to do my best to do some videos at least weekly or every second week with a little bit of interesting content that maybe you can't find so easily out there on the internet. Um, more related of a proper full project and how it works behind the scenes. Maybe I jump into Houdini in a bit. Yeah, but thank you. Thank you again. I appreciate that. Uh, so, okay, this is working now. What we need to do is to now tell the AI when you can start doing this. Because we don't want the AI always to go there. So we got this behavior tree. And what we are going to do now is to remove this and put here a condition. And this condition is going to be interesting. In fact, in fact, there is something wrong here because we don't want to uh, cast and to call all this cover actor here. What we want to do is to maybe in the service, this service in AI basically what does is repeating a task on tick. Um, and what we can do is to add Maybe this is a lot of seconds, but uh, we can do it here. What we can do is to do a, a sphere trace by channel. And the start position is going to be this get actor location the radius is going to be let's say around 10 meters uh, i don't know if overlap actors is i i don't know I think this one is better um, because here I can check the tag. Okay, so if there is a hit, this is wrong, let's put this first here. We want to leave the sphere trace to the very end. If this there is a, a hit, we are going to break the result and what we are going to take is what we are going to check is the hit actor has tag and the tag we want to check is the cover and this is basically a way of only finding this specific actor because this actor if i go to the tag i call the tag cover so i filter everything out um, there are other ways of doing this but let's let's start with this so what we can do is rather than doing this we can put here an ant and we say if there is a hit and this hit is this then then we want to 
we want to do something new which is going here and create a new variable which is gonna be the cover temporal cover actor or something temporal cover actor and this is gonna be uh, I'm gonna be generic I mean I can call it I can put a cover fuck it cover actor okay So now that I did this, I can take this guy, I'm gonna take it again, and set cover, set temporal cover actor. I can put this one. Oh, I need to cast that's lame. Because, yeah, of course, okay, yeah, whatever. I mean, I guess it's not a big deal for this. It's not happening in a tick. It shouldn't take a lot of CPU resources. Should be okay. Um, so now that that is done, means that this is found. And what I want to do is also, I want to see this for duration to the back, five seconds. And this happens indeed here. And now now in the cover, rather than using this, what we can do is to to remove this. And here we can get temporal cover actor, which has the arrows there. So we are calling that from the service that is going to find actors. We can see if this works at least and the AI goes and hide and things like that. What is he going? Oh, okay, it's doing weird things. Oh, I see what is going on. He's going to zero, zero, zero. Yeah, because. Yeah, it's going to zero, zero. I is going to zero, zero, like stupidly. There we go, zero, zero, zero. Because it's not finding a valid uh, cover actor. All right. So what we need to do here I'm thinking different ways of doing this. What we need to do is to create a new blackboard variable in the service. Okay. I think in the best way, <clears throat> there are different ways of doing this. I can do a blackboard, I can do a boolean here. Okay, let's do a... I don't have many booleans, so I think that should be okay. Let's create a can't see cover. Um, that means that once this is true, we can set uh, boolean uh, blackboard set blackboard value on, bo uh, set blackboard value as boolean. We are gonna promote this.
to true we're gonna call this cover and if there is nothing then we put this to false and the last thing is to expose this to the behavior tree and now in the behavior tree we call this service cover can see cover I hope that makes sense uh, but I'm not yet confident about it I want to make also this a little bit bigger in the service hey Harana how are you it's been a while thank you thank you so much 16 months thank you so much for the tire one it's going great thank you there's some programming here um, okay so what we want to do oh I can only see the chat of oh, I see okay there we go um, so yeah I, I'm just working with AI right now that they can cover after uh, uh, behind objects um, to have a more dynamic combat a more interesting and dangerous combat so what I want to do is to increase in the service the sphere that finds these covers but I notice is that is this doing every three seconds or maybe not okay let's see No, the, I think the service is not... Uh, it should be doing it. So, why is not... Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is a mistake. This is not, this is not correct. This is not correct. And this is not correct. We can... Okay, yeah, this is the distance. We can still... Doing this one. I think it's not correct. Yeah, I think it's not correct. So now... Oh, they are gonna kill me. Fuck. Let me kill this fast. Oh, what they are doing? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I broke something. What? What is this? It's broken. Oh, this is very broken. Anyway. I don't know what I did there. So is this guy now... Oh, yeah, now he's doing that. I don't know what happened there. Now, I think something I break... Yeah, I need beta testers. Uh, I did a a form. Have you saw the? Have you seen the form? What the hell is doing? I mean, it's working. Um, 
uh, sorry, form, uh, F-O-R-M, uh, where I can show you, I can send you, uh, let me just find it. Uh, there we go. It's just for the close alpha. We will do this around uh, October, end of September, I believe. We are waiting for a hot fix of uh, Unreal 5.1 in 5.1 version because we got some problems with server travel. But I can send this in a bit. Uh, send, okay, send link, shorten URL, copy, and this one. All right, so I am a bit confused about this guy. I think it's working. The problem is, I think the problem is, it's working. It's working, it's working. It's always trying to find the opposite. So if I go here, oh, yeah, yeah, it's working, it's working. And if I go here, it's gonna go behind. Okay, so we got this working. The only problem is he sometimes finds other, and he should go always to the to the closest. So to do that. To do that, what we need to do is to be more agnostic in the sphere trace, which is in the service here, and we need to do a multi sphere, a multi sphere um, by channel. Same rules apply. I think same radius was good, 20 meters. Uh, visibility is okay. I want to debug this for the duration. And now for each. I think I can do this even better. But anyway, let's keep it like that. Um, and now. We can go here, we can go here. I, I, it's a little bit complex. I really don't like when you start to add complexity, things are hard to maintain. Um, the quickest way, nah, let's do it in this way, fuck it. So, Okay, what we are going to do is we are going to keep this to the very end and if this is true we are gonna get this actor. Um, let's make an array. Of cover. Cover actor. Let's make this as an array. Yeah, all good. And what we are going to do is to add unique. Here. And right after this process, 
once this is done here we are gonna check this and for each of these we are gonna get actor location and we are gonna get this which is the position of the player get uh, distance I don't like it man, it's really, it's, com it's gonna be two loops with two arrays two arrays man, um, at least happens every three seconds but it's still still too much I can check this distance and compare I don't like this okay I need one minute to think about this so I need to see what is the closest one I think I need to do this no matter what Unless damn, I, I know how I could do this better using the perception of the AI that gives me the distance already. Maybe I should use the perception of the AI. Maybe I should use the perception of the AI. If I use the perception, I can get the distance. And if I get the distance, I can always compare with other. It looks like an option. I'm going to use the perception. I'm gonna use the perception. I think it's better. So let's go to characters, ancestors, AI, and let's take the controller. And this is a bit convoluted, but it will work. Actually, does this guy? Okay, so hashtag. What tag? Cover. And if this is true, we do some logic here. And the logic is going to be very simple because we got already this here. We are going to take the actor, cast to cover, and we are going to set cover temporal actor, this one. So he saw that actor and now is par. of a reference and this is done I'm 
and also I need to get the blackboard and set boolean this is make literal and this is um, can see cover let's make some extra space let's put this a little bit outside the chaos and let's put this little branch here actually let's put a no just later another branch which is is successfully this and this when it's not and we are gonna set to nothing okay that's done the first part so if it's true, do, 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 can see cover, which is, I believe, the boolean, can see cover, okay, correct. Now, the last thing is to add a perception stimulus source. Actually, what is the... Um can't remember now. Plant? Point of interest. Okay, site. Yeah. Okay, so in the cover let's put site. I guess auto register source. All right, so this should be now visible for the AI. The only thing we want to do now is in the service, we don't need this. But to know if this is working or not, I don't want to do anything else. I'm going to play and see. I don't know why I see an sphere though. Oh, I see. It's coming from this guy. Okay. working it's working it's working and now it's going to other why why that one though Sorry that it's moving like shit, it's just... Oh, fuck. It's going to zero, zero, zero. <laughs> it's going to zero, zero, zero. Okay, let's think. Oh, 
fuck me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to compare between them. That's very, very annoying. I hate this part a lot. It's almost working, but there is something always that is gonna be like, oh, I saw another cover, so I'm gonna go to the one that is farther. God damn it. And also, at some point, he went to an arrow that uh, it was... It was not correct, I believe. And also, he went to zero, zero, zero. Okay, so we can do a couple of things. The first one is to a decorator uh, blackboard, and this blackboard is gonna be um, if can see the cover is set. If it's not set, it's not gonna go there. So we avoid false positives there and go to zero zero. If I go there, you go to the back. No? Why not? Oh, I see. I see. Ah, now you saw that one. And if I do this... Now you didn't see the last one, so you don't know where to go, but now you saw this other one again. I see. I know how to do this. I'm just thinking to make sure that that makes sense. Hmm. Oh, sorry, this song is crazy. <sighs> what I need to do is something a bit different. I need to go here. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. We need to. Joder, man. I really don't like this. We need to create a pool of uh, cover actors, uh, so let's call this uh, cover. And this is gonna be cover actors pool. And this is gonna be an array. This is gonna be the number of all the cover areas and rocks and columns the enemies are gonna find. 
and we are gonna add unique here. We don't want to remove anything. We only want to add. And that is the first part. Now, it's interesting that Okay, I need to clean this a bit. Now it's a good opportunity. Maybe. <laughs> oh man. No, I just want to put this higher and then I'm going to do a uh because this this is like the begin play basically and that rotations this is basically the brain of how the ai picks uh his priority target or enemy um and some other sanity checks i do in the very beginning in the begin play on possess only on possess i don't use begin play too much to be honest the for whatever depending on what you want you want to use on possess or begin play but for AI on possess, I would say makes a little, bit of, a little bit of more sense to me because it's synchronized and sometimes possess doesn't happen instantly. All right, and then we got then we got this massive part of brain. This is the oh, this is not part of anything I believe I can remove all this crap but these are the rotations these are the rotations so let's put this bunch of code there and then we got the rotations here And we're gonna put a bit farther down the line. We got this and we got this. And of course now this is connected with two parts, so let's take only this one. This is the blackboard, so let's let's put it here. Alright. That's that's done. Now, I'm going to use this timer I got here every 4 to 6 seconds which is the rotate targets and this is done to rotate between the different players as target for the AI depending on different factors I'm wondering why I did this Oh, this is actually pretty cool. I didn't know I did this. Huh, this is cool. It's something I didn't notice that I did, but I did. Basically, this part is don't rotate, don't pick, don't pick a new AI target. Sorry, don't pick a player target. Don't rotate a player target if you are blocking, you are attacking, you are dodging, you are attacking from the far distance, you are jumping, you are knocked down, you are doing a special attack, you are doing another special attack, or you are throwing a spear. So the animation happens whatever, whenever the ability starts, and if the AI chose a target for that ability, it's not going to change the target, and that's, that feels better, and that looks better, that AI changing targets in the middle, you know? So that's interesting. Okay, this part worries me. So I think the spot So this is this should 
this should happen here okay I'm gonna give some space to this because this should happen this should happen here so what we are gonna do now is to take this and for each of these guys which are the different cover actors we want to get actor location we want also to get actor location we want to see the distance and we want to create a new variable here of uh, distances or um, and this is going to be an array so now what we can do is to take this guy and we add I hope unique but this is this is gonna be the a little bit annoying part because now this index so we got this okay at least I'm not deleting indexes so every index of this is gonna meet the index of this so actually yeah add unique add unique correct no 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 here is not add unique here is just add because i mean you need you need you, sh you need to be super unlucky but you can have maybe two floats and those two floats are both okay i mean the distance is exactly the same it's exactly the same but you don't want to avoid to add this to the array because now what is the problem? Oh, okay. That was weird. Uh, and now get minimum uh, minimum float array because now we are gonna finally if the fucking dishwasher shut up. Uh, take this shut the fuck up take this and we are gonna get okay we are gonna get this as the winner and this is gonna finally take this and we will set cover this actor as the final winner <laughs> of all this madness <laughs> and I hope this works because it's a hell of a coder um, so we check the distances and then after that we check the minimum float you know what is the problem here that the distances the distances will change over time because the AI will move to new places and that indeed is a problem because the distances are not dynamic
actually I'm lying because this is not saved. Oh wow! Wait! 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 wait. Okay, one thing I have to do after this is done is to clear this array because otherwise it's gonna do this forever. I'm a little bit scared of this not working. Yes, about it's about the index, the part I'm scared. But that's okay because we are checking the same index here and here. So this index would be the same. It should be the same. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay. And now, oh, why that one? It's partially working. What if I go here? I want to do something very quick, which is uh, in the ability of uh, the cover. I don't. I don't want to wait. I want to do this constant so I can see how this works. This is the moment that doesn't make sense. Okay, it's trying to hide there, right? Okay. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck is doing this guy? Yeah, I'm not completely sure. Uh, I think I need to refactor this idea. I'm not gonna do it now, but I think what I will do is to check for a cover angle. Like in, you can see this a lot in The Last of Us, um, Metal Gear Solid. I want to check for a cover angle and if that is the dot product is 
minus 0 0.5 and the distance is x that is valid I'm wondering if I can get all these arrows without casting the parents like the AI just sees these arrows there in these objects like this is a cover point, 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 etc. To be honest, the, the other way of doing this is with IQS but the th reason I don't want to use IQS is because I want to script a bit the behavior, a bit more um, directed and less random or more than random, more visually appealing because I want to do specific animations of covering so in other words, the AI only needs to know if any arrow of these arrows is close to a specific value to the direction he's watching compare that to the player and then go there and then the animation happens, he shows, he hides, he shows, he hides if he's in the enemy is there this is the new option, he shows, he hides, he shows, he hides if I'm here, for example and the player is here this is an interesting point because naturally you would say here is better but the AI most likely will go to this one because it's closer so what you need to compare is the path uh, path distance and I guess for that there is a note if I'm not wrong path distance, no no oh, this is interesting yeah, it could be that path cost as well and the one with less cost but this can be done, it's, I, I'm trying to reproduce almost like a EQS somehow but yeah if I'm, for example, here, like this, let's say diagonal, and the player is around here, he will naturally cover here because it's the closest and the. Yeah, that makes sense. The problem is. Um, Yeah, I need to call the actor sending all the fucking arrows there. I think so. I'm thinking, eh? I'm just trying to think again. So let's play with toys, like Toy Story. Where is my second player? Okay, cool. So let's say we are here. We got if he wants to cover, he can say, Oh, cool, I have an arrow here, but this is not cover. And the reason I know this is not cover, it is.
because a line trace I can do there, but I don't like it. I'm gonna end up doing a EQS. That's what I'm worried because if I'm gonna end up doing a EQS, manual EQS, I can use EQS <laughs> because the way of knowing this is just is there a line trace there? I think I'm overcomplicating this. Hey, hello, Herodil, how are you? Okay. Let's make this more simple. Let's make only little rocks let's say that this is just a cube and this cube has something like this, like so, and then we are going to remove two arrows and leave two arrows. So one arrow is going to be this one here, and the other arrow, as you can imagine, is going to be this one, like so. So now we have both things fetching each other, like two copper points. And the two copper points in a procedural level will change depending on the rotation and translation of the objects. Okay, so now we got this a little bit more simplified. So the way of this guy finding cover actually is not about the dot product. It is about if I go here and I line trace, if I go here and I line trace from this arrow that I'm gonna put closer. I'm gonna put closer. And this one as well. If I line trace from this point, I'm gonna see the character. If no, this is valid. Go here, cover. And as you can see, I can see the enemy only if I go there. So if I go to example, I check here, and the enemy is just in the middle. What should be oh, man, what the fuck? The enemy is in the middle. What should be his cover? Um the thing is it it has different options depending on what is priority. It is priority to be far, because the priority is to be far. I would say it, go, it would go here because there is no line trace here and also there is no line trace here but also there is no line trace here so if the enemy is in the middle I'm very close to this we can check the distances maybe and go to the closest one so you take a very quick safe spot that could be one option <laughs> I know, man, uh, it's been a while without being around YouTube. Most likely I will do some videos here and there. Yes, because I think it's worth to come back time to time to YouTube. I'm more on Twitch right now, doing the game development of this game, Crit. Um, so, 
So, I'm gonna do something that is a little bit expensive and bad uh, practice, but I need to do it just to prove my point. I'm gonna go back <laughs> to the service again. I'm gonna remove the. I'm gonna remove this. I don't know why I decided to do this, but I'm gonna remove this. Um, I'm gonna connect this back to this. And in the rotations, I'm gonna go back to this. Oh, cool, thank you so much. Yeah, I've been on, um, on Twitch uh, for a while, but today I just decided to to do both. Just curious, how is YouTube going? <laughs> um, all right, we got this done. So now in the service, I'm gonna do the thing that is not a good practice and is calling all actors, all actors of a class. That's expensive, uh, and it will. I will change it with I by a sphere trace, but right now, because we want only to prove the point, we are going to do this, get all actors of a class with tag, and the tag is going to be cover, and the actor is going to be cover, and for each of these, I want to get the arrow <laughs> gets arrows array and for each of these <laughs> I want to promote this to variable and this variable is all arrows this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong let's do this different uh, get overlap uh, overlap actors better and I want to see the what is the name uh, cover What is the problem? Uh, all right. And for each of these, oh man, this is, yeah. To be honest, is I think it's better the other way. Then. Yeah, I need to cast. Uh, let me let me just go do this first, and then if it's not good enough, we 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 change the idea. But let's start. Get all actors actors of class with tag and put put the cover cover actor. We uh, make this. Uh, an, ar uh, an array and then we get this and then we add to this everyone and now this is the interesting part we need to find We need to find a, an arrow <laughs> This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting I need a sort 
I don't have a short array, right? Ah. Shit. I need to sort the array by distance. I maybe need to check some plugins in C++ to do this. Because I would check first the closest, then the less close, you know, in, in order of how close they are to the to the AI. But this is random, so it could jump to anyone. Um, so, yeah, here, what I would do is, when this is completed, we are going to do a for each loop here using this, and then we will get actor location. I know, get component location, let's put this or get world get what you're what are you complaining about? Okay. Get world location and then let's do a line trace here by uh, channel and the visibility and this is the start and the end is gonna be the get forward vector multiplied oh no 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 the end is not this the end is the location of the player like so and if let's uh, debug this for duration Let's put this in blue it helps me to see better and this is if there is a heat It's a blocking heat means that it's a good position okay let's see <laughs> let's see what we are doing here actually but yeah this could be the beginning of something special something beautiful let's see I, I'm not sure Yeah, you see, it's, oh, it's checking, and you see, he's, this is a good value, he is now focused on, on this other, okay, now he's focused on me, and he's doing checks constantly, but now he's rotating between the two actors, let me just remove this one. I'll put it there to see how this is working. So, for example, come on, listen to me. Okay, let's see what considers a good cover. Yeah, you see, the red ones are wrong, but this is a good cover. This is a good cover, and this is a good cover. So that is actually working pretty nicely. Now, if I go to the other direction, or I go, yeah, here. I mean, he thinks this is a good cover. I would argue that's a good cover, but yeah. That is a good cover, and that is a good cover. Cover, cover, cover. If I go here, yeah. Yeah, covers. Covers. So we can see how this works.
you see all the covers there but if I go here the cover now would be there at some point there we go cover okay it's going it's going in the right direction uh, and this is how EQS work uh, under the hood more or less the one option is to do a line trace and that would give a valid result so I'm gonna change something or more than change I'm gonna add something and I'm gonna add a vector actually can I do a transform I can't that's dumb that's dumb why not why not okay so let's why can't put a transform in the in the in the blackboard stupid very stupid so in the server where I do this thing here I can okay I'm gonna change the plan I'm gonna make uh, this not as a vector I'm gonna make this as an object and this object is gonna be cover object and what I can do now is in the server I can uh, take set blackboard value as a object the object is gonna be this and the key is gonna be pb that board uh, cover object like so so now if this is true this is the only problem I see I'm doing this for every one of them so what I'm gonna do is to put this uh, do once so it takes the first one he finds and once this full process is completed it resets this so now now that we got this we want to move the AI let me see what this does correct correct so if not this actually is this if a cover object is set and this goes here I'm gonna do this temporary which is change my target but my target is gonna be cover object and this could work but we will see now this could work not working yet I'm wondering why let me see okay can cover object is set is oh I see I see one little thing we need to put this cover object as cover object let's try now Not working yet. Let's see. 
service but wait a second and what is your problem is your reset Okay, just for debugging purposes, let's put this here. Copper object is set. Why copper object is not is false? Mm, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, we need to check that properly. So cover object, cover object in the service. Why? Why not? What is the? problem with this why not uh, I don't understand this I really don't understand this I'm gonna oversimplify this So we don't do a for each loop. Once this is completed, give me just one, the first one you find, and if there is a blocking hit, you. Hostia, I see. Because the arrow. Fuck. It's a component, it's not an actor. Let me try this first, and if not, it could be that I need to get the owner. Yeah, cover object non. I see. Okay, let's 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 rethink this. Let's keep the loop. Let's keep the loop. Why 
what I need to do is if this Okay, I think I know what I have to do. If I take from these cover actors this is gonna be my actor. I hope. Let's try. Let me alone. Hola. Why is false? Why is false? Why is false? This is the part I, I'm not getting. Cover actor? No. Why not? Why not? Why... That's weird. <laughs> we are getting... Okay, I'm gonna oversimplify this. Get actor of class. Super simple. What actor? Cover. If this is... No, that's it. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm stupid. Control set, control set, control set. Control set. <laughs> and you know what? This control set a lot. Because now I got the feeling. Now I got the feeling that if I put this guy here, maybe not, eh? Because it's a component. I will see. I was not doing this in the correct variable. Joder. Ah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm stupid as hell. So this is cover BB. Let's put both um, temporary. Okay, it's still not working, but Oh yeah, it works. Arrow. Boom. I don't know what arrow. Well, whatever. It's going to Narnia. He decided to go to Narnia. But at least now an uh, extra part is working. Now we need to fix the thing that the enemy goes to uh, the other world. But that should be easy. It should go to cover object. So why is going to zero? Ah, of course it's going to zero. Because, okay, I need to change. I'm gonna do something cool here. And it's gonna be to uh, duplicate this variable. 
and this is gonna be target location target object and we are gonna get this and we are gonna put a branch here and this branch is gonna basically split this process into parts that by default is gonna be false and the name of this is gonna be a use object instead location um, but if I use object means that I want this and I want to uh, sorry get blackboard value as an object and this I won't get actor well I need to cast cast to I can, I can cast to actor but just because in this case I'm specific I'm gonna cast to cover actor and if this is true now I'm gonna have here No, 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 no. Oh. Can I cast to arrow? Okay. And then goes here. And the controller is the same for everything. So I'm just taking the arrow component and now because this is exposed already, oh no, this is not exposed, I need to do two extra changes in the behavior tree. Uh, <laughs> that should be easy. <laughs> That's, that, that looks like uh, the final sentence of the last human in the world trying to trying to fix humanity survival on Mars or on Venus or in an uh, exoplanet trying to mix a couple of chemical product saying, nah, this should be easy the next second, boom, nuclear explosion <laughs> that's how I feel many times that should be easy two hours later I want to jump out the window ah, that should be easy <laughs> I know, I know, and it's fucking crazy. This this thing is always you fix something and you break twenty things. It's not like you fix something and you break something. You fix something and you break twenty things, minimum. Okay, that should be easy and that should work. Uh, so now we can put here. I don't, I'm not using this one, but I'm using this one and this one. I feel it's not. I feel that it's not gonna work, and I don't know exactly why. Hey, look at that! It worked. <laughs> so cute it's very cute hello but now you should now you should find a new spot it's because you don't find a spot ah it's because you don't have a spot let me try that again oh yeah yeah very cute very cute Very cute, very cute. Okay. Yeah. What about now? I think it's because it's only checking the first one. But now if I connect as it was before, it should work. It's just... 
yeah here for example until i don't go here it's not gonna move here it should move yeah working. Hey Darkness4, hi, how are you? Okay, um, a couple of things. One is removing that sphere that is killing me all the time, that should be easy. I'm gonna go to the, I think it's an animation blueprint, so I'm gonna go to Ancestors, Mesh, and let's go to this animation blueprint maybe. graph yeah let's move this stupid sphere that one thing now in the service i guess it's because i'm doing or it's because Yeah, it's because he's doing this by order. How I should do this? I'm trying to think. This is correct, actually. This is correct. The only thing I need to do here is to, once this is set, we want to clear this array. So we give more chances. That should be correct. I think so. So we got all the arrows available. And we delete the arrows when this guy is covered. That makes sense, that makes sense, almost. That almost makes sense. I need to think one second, I need to think one second. So we got the cover and then we clear this out. But we set already this in the blackboard, so we are ready to clear that. Okay, that makes sense. We can... Ah. Okay, let's, let's see. I think it's going to have the same behavior, but just little by little, I think I got the things. It helps me to think better rather than doing a lot of work. So now it's going to do the first process and goes always to that one, correct? Yeah, it's, it's always... But why is only line tracing... Oh, no, 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 no. What? It should line trace for all the angles. Not only for, wait a second, what the fuck? That should be 
so I'm getting all the cover actors I'm taking all the, all the arrows and I make that there done for each of these arrows for each of these arrows I do a line trace with the position of the arrow and the position of myself that should fire arrows everywhere Uy, 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 uy. Why, 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 why? Why only the first one? What is that? No, 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 no. Okay, let's let's think very slow. They all have they all have attack, no? Let's say I mean unless I broke something they have the attack cover. All of them have the attack cover. So they they should be included. Okay. So let's do some problem solving here. Where I am? Okay. So for each of these guys, I take an arrow array. And once that is, is completed. Oh. But it doesn't make sense because even if this is a do once, this is not a do once. Oh, because I clear this. It's not here where I need to clear this. It's here. Sí, hablo español, no portugués. Pero español sí. There we go. It's going to the same one, but at least now it's calculating with all of them. Okay, that makes more sense. Even if the game is only chosen that one but it's working now we are on a, we are gonna optimize this now And the way we are gonna optimize this is and also it's gonna be very helpful first of all uh, let me just uh, change this just a bit this is a sequence so what I want to do What I want to do here is basically taking this, chase my target, only this part. Then 
these three guys for this experiment and we're gonna bring this come on and we're gonna put this here I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna bring the things closer like so and now on the sequence too many sequences I see here if target actor is set yeah target actor is set we will do this little sequence target location in area no random area use object no 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 I hope this makes sense but I'm not sure if it's gonna make sense because this maybe doesn't make sense because I believe Is making sense. I think it is quite interesting what is going on. <laughs> I think this is flickering. Like, there we go. This is what is going on. Yeah. Is basically he's trying to do double double movement at the same time. He's trying to get close to me and hide at the same time. That's that's what happened there. So Basically because this is flickering and both are doing the move move factor. Simple move to location. This song is getting me crazy. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Anything better than that. So he's fighting there. Okay, let's start optimizing the the service. What is the service? This one. And let's start from here. Uh, overlap sphere overlap actors and what is the object type of the cover actor let's say world dynamic That is a 
actually quite interesting. Problem is, oh, oh, wait a second. Can this have tag? Oh, yeah. This is quite cool, actually, and cheaper. This is quite cool. I like it. If this works, it's gonna be way cleaner. Cause it can be any place. I don't need to cast. I, I don't care if this is a tower, it's a rock, it's a chair, it's a fucking limousine. I don't care. I got the arrows components, which is what I really need to know to do all the animations, covering, and covering, whatever. So, if I can call here without casting a sphere overlap components, then the only thing that I don't know if it's going to work is what is an arrow, actually, in terms of... <laughs> Is this even gonna be... That's the part that maybe is a bit more complicated. Because I think... This has no... I mean, I can't... Try. Let's put this guy here and we can put world static, world dynamic. I don't know. For each loop, and let's make this, I don't know, three thousand. And the position, we are gonna take the enemy, we are gonna uh, actor location, and this is gonna be the sphere position that radius is okay. Actors to ignore component filter class. Oh, yeah, I want arrows. The object types is the part that I don't know. Um, I mean, if it's, if this works, get actor location, uh, get component component location. Let's go draw the back is here, and we connect that. We put one hundred. We put this during three seconds thickness, and we're gonna test only this part. We're gonna test only this little part here to see if we are doing something <coughs> that could work or not. Because if this works, we're in the right path. It's not working. It's not working. I mean, I can't. not working hmm I need to think an arrow unless I can put something different 
but I really like the arrow because the arrow has a direction that is quite visual and it's easy. the only one is the only one all right the sphere overlap actors we go back to the regime null old idea and we are gonna put this as 1000 the position is this we can remove this that is correct and now that we got this and the class is going to be a cover actor we are gonna uh, why Why, 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 why? Oh, I see. Okay. I need to cast. straight here and for each loop now yes we can delete all this crap here I don't wanna use anything of this I think I know when I even use this for every one of these I just want to do this one time if it's true then this cover actor no 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 this arrow is true And the arrow is the one that defines the location. I think that is correct. So let's play that. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 no. Good, 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 good. He wanted to hide there, and he hid there. Now, okay, the first one worked. Aha, uh -huh, okay, yes. Now, obviously, I need to reset this. So, once that is done and all completed, we are gonna reset this, 
and we are gonna and that's it that's it I think we are closer and closer to at least the prototype of covering system He's again fighting uh, But it's working Yeah It's working The only problem is that um, uh, is doing this task constantly in parallel but that's very simple because this is this can be fixed if we do something like this if cover object is set and here we do the opposite oops cover object is not set and now what we can do also is to put a cooldown or something we can put as uh, no wait this needs to be a selector doesn't mean doesn't matter so if target actor is set then it's gonna move uh, uh, it's gonna do this and this is gonna cancel a uh, lower priority doesn't matter but yeah let's let's say that cancels that um, and we can also put another decorator here, which could be could be a cooldown. That basically a cooldown, uh, a decorator on the basis condition on whether a cooldown timer expire. I guess auto cancels. Or maybe time limit fail after five seconds. Yeah, I can put a timer here, maybe like covers. If this is true, during five seconds will cover and then do whatever comes back to the original path, something like that. So let's try that. Okay, goes for me. He's already hiding. Oh no, he went to one of the positions very fast. And he went to Narnia. <laughs> we need to think why he decided to go there. We are gonna give him a little visit. In zero, he went to zero, zero, zero. And now he saw another player. <laughs> oh man, you saw another friend. Oh, hello. Oh wow, it's flickering, I see.
All right, I will keep working on this system tomorrow. Uh, I think that's all for today. However, just because I think worth it, and if I'm able to find it, one thing I'm gonna do very quick is to play one round on a Steam. Just one round. I have a lot of shit open, I hope performance is okay. Let me just maybe close. It's gonna crash. I feel it. I feel it like my okay. That was that was tight. Ah Okay, that was almost su successful. It's asking me to save a lot of crap, as always, buggy. Okay. That'll work. Cool. So again, this is all procedurally generated. I think this specific level generation can be potentially broken. Hostia, man. Hostia, tío. I'm fucking stupid. I died because my own explosion, I think. Because I shoot to the projectile. I'm stupid. I knew it. I'm stupid. <coughs> I'm gonna try one more time. Yes. Because. That was stupid, I was playing good actually. I think, yeah. Wow, this is a com wow. Okay. Uh, let's do this.
Man. No, 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 no. It started good, but I screwed it there with everything I could. <laughs> Fucking recoil, man. Joder, man. todo Song of a uh, animal. Hey, M7 EC. It is a bit, but as, I don't know if that's exactly always good because it's the first level, it's the first tile. There are like uh, in total six by three by four, twenty four plus generations in a matrix so it's this is just the beginning it's a lot let's say this one tile could be around the five percent or even three percent of the entire game and it's too intense 
so yeah I was I was testing in the morning with my girlfriend in cooperative and it was hard as well so I thought eh, maybe it's okay to be hard but it's the first style you shouldn't die too much in the first style and also it's because there are peaks of difficulty Okay, let's jump to the... let's go to the... Mm -hmm. Fuck. Oh, thank you. Camera tracking. I'm gonna try to get there. Ah. This is I'm halfway. I still halfway. It's is too much.
No, uy, 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 Okay, 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 okay. One is okay. No, 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 no. There were three. They just left. Okay, okay, I can do this, I can do this. I just need one of the big guys. If I find one of the big guys, I kill him, I can open the door. <laughs> That's actually when the level ends, there is a kind of massive guy. It's not working yet, it's just a mechanic that you can stay in a level more than... ...and a specific time. There we go. No, 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 no. Right door is the right door. I don't want fights. I really don't want fights. I don't want any fight. Let's go. Let's go. Is the is the is the door? No. Yeah. No me. Oh, this is Delta. No me jodas. I think I, I didn't change the code there and now is I think I didn't change that properly. Mm. 
Alright, what is my mouse? Oh, great. Okay, for some reason. Ah, no. uh, I need to kill another big guy, I believe. And there was one there. I think it was. Yeah, there we go. Ah, toma por culo. Hola, hola. Break dance. It's <laughs> a funny way of dying with a final, the final dance. You know, there is this song of uh, Lorne that is the final dance. Um, that's how you die with class. I need to kill one of the big guys, but the thing is, um, he needs to give me. Uh, uh, a yellow DNA and they are only giving me the blue DNA so I, I, in other words I'm fucked because I'm gonna die uh, I'm one of health and, and you see these little numbers on the top that say 51 and 50 this is the number of AI in the level the maximum is 50 and the more you stay in a level the harder it becomes meaning that in any settlement now there is gonna be like 10 people there waiting for me there we go you see it's is floated everywhere you see everywhere so now it's hard to have a combat without dying ah, I don't know ah toma por culo It's sad, no? It's very sad to end up like this. I'm gonna try one more time. Just one more time. I promise. Because it's personal. Me against the game. Just one more time. I know I'm gonna be conservative. In fact, I'm gonna buy another gun. And I'm not gonna buy breaker. Okay, uh, so far this level doesn't have towers, but has settlements. Oh no, that's a tower. Oh, look at this. Ah, uh, tomar por culo. You think I can do this? No, I know he's angry. Hey, hello, hello, hello.
Ej. Oh my god. Oh, I guess it's a collision, right? Yeah, it's collision. Damn. Yeah, man. Oof, okay. Uh, 124. We are in the right path. The only thing we need now is two blue and one yellow, and that's the big boys. And the big boys start to come and spawn at this point, more or less. So it's a matter of. Oi, boy. Oh, there. What time is it? Three. Okay, three forty. One more time. One more time. I promise. One more time. That was unfair. I knew it. Because they have a little bit of a audio announcer. And you know when they are charging and equipping and a spear, a javelin. So in that moment, what I start to do is to check 360 <laughs> where, who is the guy who saw me. Because I will have visual contact. But I was so fighting in melee that I didn't give a fuck and I thought he was going to miss. But he didn't miss, so I died. I died. Uh, I'm not gonna... I, I maybe should use... Uh, what if... What if I use... I'm gonna use Biogun. Just because when the combats are with plus uh, 3, plus 4, when you mix a breaker with a finisher, also always has a explosion or something, a side effect. In this case, an explosion. The combination of the two. N nice level, I like this one. It's quite vertical. Nice tower, I can go. Someone here. Nope. Oh.
Hus, hu. Ardik, what? Hostia. 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 Buah, 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 buah. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is going on? What is going on? Dude, what the fuck was that shit? What the fuck was that shit? <laughs> it was like... Uh, uh, I don't know, 10 dudes coming down like crazy. Holy fuck. Um, of course I can't fight that. But you see, this is the kind of difficulty picks that I need to polish because you start chilling then you start a little bit more tense and then you should end up the tile always with this kind of mayhem like you know 10 enemies or or but not not in the very beginning you you will see 10 enemies together because then you know it's not fair it doesn't feel good it feels like what the fuck i want to explore the map a, li a little bit not not you know don't not dying in the first minute just because bad design so yeah I, i'm working on that um because <laughs> i mean it was it was crazy though it was crazy but in the long term what is now funny uh this could end up in frustration and you don't want to frustrate uh, players <coughs> anyway I'm gonna, I'm gonna try just one more time and that's it i believe this level is quite open tower Settlement. Mm, interesting. I guess he saw me. spray spraying guns Oh my god. I almost killed myself. Okay, let's go to... Oh, 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 oh. Hello?
ほほう。I can't finish the first level. I can't finish the first level. It is, it is hard. Why is hard? Well, I think it's not because good design. I think it's because bad design. There is one conference in the Inside Unreal, in, sorry, in the Inside Unreal, in the Unreal uh, Fest this year, that talks about uh, adapting AI using machine learning. I'm quite interested on that. Quite interested. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with the knife. No, 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 no. I can't play with the knife. Is, is, I can't. Okay, my first victim. Oh, I don't have victim. All right. But I like this part of the map there. Hello, 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 hello. And sorry. Me jodas, eh.
Oh shit, oh shit. I knew it! Man! What the fucking hell, dude? What the fucking heck? I knew it, I knew it, I knew and I already know when I'm gonna die. It's, it's like the feeling of, hey, I hear many enemies, why they are so quiet now? And most likely it's because they are doing the spear animation, preparing the fucking crap, and boom. I need to change that crap, man, it's too much, it's too much anger. I want to kill the developer of the game. I really want. Uh, not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not funny. It's, it's fucking annoying. Cool layout. Okay. Let's go. Oh, 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 we got a big one. That's really cool. I'm gonna kill you. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 no. Really? I feel that? That was extremely easy, compared to other moments. Now it's a matter of survival. Joder, man. Me cago en su puta madre. Soy idiota, soy idiota. Oh, there. Oh, 
I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard one more. I heard one more. Ah, eso, no me jodas, eh. This one. Ah. Hostia. Buah. Buah, 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 buah. Ya está, cagada. Cagada. ¿Soy idiota? ¿Soy idiota? Soy. Uh, ok, I'm done. I'm done. Ah. Ok. Uh, mental notes. This needs to be easier. At least in the first levels. Not, not like this. Not like this. Imagine uh, I'm playing the game all the days. All the time. I can't finish the first level, so yeah, that's <laughs> that's something to consider and to keep in mind. Um, so somehow I need to find a way of limiting the number of AI that gets involved in combat, uh, and that could be reducing the AI perception distance at the very beginning, and then start to increase that more and more and more and more. Because one of the things that happen is not because it's harder, it's because surrounding AI can hear you from the very far distance. 
and you are fighting maybe against two and without knowing maybe you no, maybe there are another two others that they show you and they start throwing spears and the other thing is yeah spears javelins from the enemies need to be reduced because that feels uh, a little bit too hardcore to be honest so i need to reduce that Anyway, thank you a lot for uh, watching. Thank you for the new uh, subscription, Harana. Thank you for the um, super chat, uh, Henry D. Um, again, I will try to do some videos as well in the YouTube channel of uh, Re Alvaro Real Time Mayhem um, about behind the scenes, and I will include some, let's call it tutorial, let's call it behind the scenes uh, of how the things work in Houdini. Uh, and some of them in Unreal Engine, but again, uh, we'll see what the time can allow me. Anyway, thank you a lot for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye.